You ready to go? Got everything. I have this blanket for you. I'm just going to wrap you up. Just want you to be comfortable. And I'm sorry you have to sit back there. It's just thought for the drive, it would be most comfortable, okay? So why don't we pull out and get going? If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? I might talk to you as we go along because I get really lonely and you're all I have, so... <laughs> You just go ahead and close your eyes and fall asleep, okay? Let's go. Get on the road here. Going on an extremely comfortable back road. So, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> You're going to enjoy this ride. It's almost like white noise, you know? It's very interesting how it works. I usually fall asleep to a fan. Some people fall asleep to, you know, a white noise machine. But ever since I was little, I would always fall asleep during car rides. Very comforting to me. And it's right before sunset, so I just hope you don't mind sitting back there. <laughs> I'll be quiet. You okay? And I've got no excuse 
is the wrong time We'll be thinking of you And is that our idea? Give my gun away And it's loaded Is that our idea? If you don't shoot it How am I supposed to hold it? It's the wrong time She's pulling me through It's the wrong time And I've got no excuse But is that alright here? Give my gun away And it's loaded Is that alright here? If you don't shoot it How am I supposed to hold it? Give my gun away and it's loaded Is that alright? Is that alright with you? Is that alright here? If you don't shoot it, how am I supposed to hold it? like this person is going to a bar rather than the ice cream place. Okay. Nice last minute turn signal. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little bit irritated. But it's okay. How are you doing back there? <laughs> oh, I just love this road. Random billboards and just mystery almost, you know. Sorry about the singing. Oh, that song has been stuck in my head forever now. It's um, Nine Crimes by Damien Rice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm just in a singing mood. But I'll keep quiet for a few more minutes before I bother you again. <laughs> Make you break down, shut 
places and go home, go home, go home. <laughs> That's a random song too, and you know what else I have stuck in my head? The Postal Service, DC sleeps alone tonight. You seem so out of context in this gaudy apartment complex. The stranger with the turkey explaining that I'm just visiting and I am finally seeing that I was the one worth leaving. DC sleeps alone tonight after the boss turned out their lights and sing autumn swerving only this evening and I am finally seeing that I was the one worth leaving that I was the one worth leaving That blanket's keeping you warm. Yeah, it is getting dark, but it's a beautiful night, you know? Well, beautiful early night. <laughs> I just don't want to bother you. Yikes. If I could take the mountains and put them at the beach. <laughs> I would live right up in the mountains over the beach, and I think LA, Los Angeles is like that, but my worst fear would ultimately come true there, and I'm trying to keep you comfortable, so <laughs> I'll be quiet again. place right there it reminds me of this restaurant every time I pass it it's called the furnace and it has this type of salad that I've only ever had like once in my life and it um, it was like this giant wedged lettuce like just a big piece of lettuce right like really crispy they like fry the lettuce and then they add some Italian Italian, Italian, oh my goodness, my friend and I, we have this argument all the time. Italy or Italy, because you're pronouncing it Italian or Italian, you know what I mean? It's Italian, Italy. But it's also like caramel and caramel, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> you look like you're falling asleep back there. Either I bored the heck out of you, or... <laughs> like that usually. <laughs> you go ahead and close your eyes. I'll be quiet for a little bit. I'll think of another song to sing to you.
like it stopped raining out here. I can turn this off. It's just drizzling though. Everybody has their heat on tonight. It's 50 degrees, which is usually warm since what we just came through, you know what I mean? But I know that I have my <clears throat> heat on at home. <laughs> and we just passed um, my grandfather's golf course. They have a bench out there. Uh, whenever he died, they made a bench because my whole childhood with him was just going golfing. And I remember one time, once I got older, they got very angry at me because I didn't wear a polo shirt to golf, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, I had to be like 11 years old. But anyway, once he passed, um, they loved him so much out there that they built him a bench. And the same thing with my dad. It's starting to rain again. Girlfriend's farm is right here. Like right here. <laughs> you might not be able to see it, but yep. Yeah. Oh well, I probably shouldn't say her last name. <laughs> but how ironic is that, you know? Oh, here's the rain. I hope you dig rain because it's getting pretty wet. beautiful. It's getting kind of humid in here. I am going to turn on the, um, I don't know, whatever you turn on that's cool to make you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially in Jennerstown. How gorgeous is this? So beautiful, isn't it? It's just so wooded and just, I don't even know. Um, speaking of music though, <laughs> I'm sure you don't want me to sing again. Um, last time you and I went on a car ride, we went to Ligonier and it's like this really wooded, old-fashioned town. It's gorgeous, it's just so pretty. And it reminded me of when I was a child when we used to go to these festivals. They were like craft shows and my mom and dad used to love going and they would drag me along and I would complain and complain. But um, they would talk about, you know, playing music in the car and they had their cassette tapes back then, you know? And they would put the cassette tape in and always play like old Nickelback. <laughs> I like you. Okay, I won't. I, I won't. I'll stop. I'll stop myself all of my. <laughs> but anyway, um, the one song that was my favorite was Patience by Guns N' Roses. I don't think I can go to that part with my throat, but I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that bump. It's been a while since I've been out here, but there's the speedway that you're not going to be able to see. Ooh, soft serve. This reminds me of Devil's Rejects, where he's like, there is no ice cream in your future, not trying to swear and bother you. <laughs> 
well, we do have a long way to go. So, I probably am going to get on the main road now. Is that okay with you? All right. I'll turn around whenever we're up here, okay? Somewhere up here. You just go ahead. Get cozy. And I'll get us back home. Wow, back to the right way of where we're going. <laughs> like I said, we have a long way to go. But that's okay. Well, this is a shady area to turn around. Little bumps, little bumps. before I pull out? Here. Hold on one second. This rain doesn't warrant that big of a... Here. You tucked in? I hope so. Go ahead and close your eyes. I'll keep it minimal talking on the way back, okay? But of course, a big line of cars has to show up. So. I think we're good. Here we go. My nose is so itchy. So gorgeous out here and now you're gonna get to see the other side of what um, you didn't see on the way it's so much farmland and just beautiful space out here you know I saw people online order or renting Teslas. Would you ever go in a Tesla with me? <laughs> I would go in a Tesla with me. But you're probably like, I am never driving with this female again. <laughs> Look at all the people. So many, oh, I love Amish dress. Like, I love everything about the Amish because I grew up around them. But they're so private that we didn't get to learn of their religion or, you know, anything like that. Or That is such a shady name for a gas station, isn't it? The One Stop. Oh, my bank's out here, though. And there's the coal, oh, I know where we're at. There's the coal miners cafe. And then um, Torillo Steakhouse is right back there. I know you have no idea where I'm talking about, but when my dad was alive, he used to take me there oh, every other week. Right whenever him and my mother divorced. And we had two days a week together from the custody agreement until I was 18. And he would take me out to eat every time. And then we would go back and maybe watch TV or something until I eventually moved in with him because of the way that my mother treated me. So. It was a very different time back then, you know. But you know what's interesting is every time we went to that steakhouse, every single time, it would thunderstorm. And the same goes for where I live. There's this place called Santos Pizza. And every time when I was a little girl that my mother and dad used to take me there, 
it would thunderstorm and every time the lights would go out <laughs> Aww. and you know it's funny I, it also reminds me of whenever he would uh, my dad would play the radio and that song Killing Me Softly would come on you know I'm going to sing the chorus <laughs> and I'm the type who can never get lyrics right ever so here we go Drowning my pain with this finger Hanging my life with these words Killing me softly with this song Killing me softly with this word I don't know. <laughs> Telling my whole life I can't sing now. My voice is like caught in the upper, what do they call that, alto? I don't know, I took music classes when I was like five. I <laughs> never went anywhere, so. <laughs> you just relax, okay?
already passed it on our way down, but it's this craft, well, it's not crafts, it's like pottery and art. It's gorgeous. This older, old woman, she's like 80, well, she's going on 80, and she lives in this shop. And they sell the most unique, beautiful art from different artists. And again, they're only open in the winter for three days a week. And every year, I get my mother a present from there. Every Christmas. She never shops there because she says it's so expensive. And it's really not. I mean, you could find a piece of art for like $10. You know what I mean? This big. And there's these things called troll dolls. If you literally go to www.trolldoll.com, I think it takes you there. It's a real 90s-esque website. And ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted one. And the year that I got my kids back, I went into that store that Christmas. Um, and I was looking for, you know, I was shopping for my mother. And my daughter, Satori, was with me. And she pointed out this purple troll doll and I had forgotten all these years of my life that I wanted one of those things so badly. She pointed out the purple fairy looking one and it turns out the meaning behind the troll because all of the trolls have a meaning that it was the mother one and it just meant so much to me. It was almost like a symbol. Something I've wanted all my life was one of those troll dolls, but there are art, you know what I mean? So my mom was like, you're not gonna want them. So, and my daughter picked my very first one out for me. It's very special. So, just thought I'd tell you that little bit of information. <laughs> Continue on and sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep.
we could stop and get another one because we have such a long way to go, but I will make sure you have it, okay?
seems to be okay. We're right beside the coffee fee shop though. So I'll check in on you again, okay? Sleep soundly, okay? I'm gonna go in and get you some coffee, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me. I love you. <laughs> I'll be back, okay? 